Hey guys, um, I have the privilege to talk to you about pretty much the most important part of being a coach. Um, and that is inviting. So we've been talking a lot about social media and how to get that all up and running, um, using your platforms, using your Insta stories. And now it's time to take it a step further. See, with coaching, 50%, I would say, of the game is having a social media presence, showing your journey, um, giving some people something to kind of watch and wonder about. But the actual like process of getting people to commit to your groups happens completely behind the scenes, and that's through inviting. So this is a part like that you can't ever skip. So just know now you're going to have to face your fears about inviting. And the crazy thing about it is the more you do it, the more natural it feels. And um, if you're going into it with the excitement and the passion that you that caused you to become a coach, you're going to love inviting because you just get to share that passion with people. Um, you just get to share it with them in like short little bits that end in questions. <laughs> you can do that. So I'm going to talk about four kind of things around coaching. I'm going to talk about why, or I'm sorry, inviting. Why we invite, um, where do we find the people to invite, what do we say when we invite, and then how often do we invite? So the first one is the why, and I just sort of covered that. Um, and it's basically that the behind the scenes conversations are huge. That is where we really make our personal connections and where we turn our conversations over to their personal needs, health and fitness goals, and what's going to help them. Um, that's where that happens. It's huge. So our job is to reach out and open the door between different people so that we can eventually bring them into our groups and help them get similar results that we have gotten. So that's why we invite. Um, just know that this is the most important, the most important. So, um, so the second one is where do you find people? So the first one is you can simply start with your friends and your family. If you're a brand new coach, which obviously you are because you're in this group, um, I want you right now to think of two family members and two friends that you could very easily be like, look, I'm starting this health and fitness journey. Um, I'm going to do better if I have support. Can you come do this with me? Okay, you're going to have more success if you immediately get a couple friends to do it with you. It's literally the easiest thing to do. Um, so friends and family, warm market is number one. Number two is you can go through your friends list on Facebook and your followers list on Instagram and start connecting with those people. And I'll talk about in a minute about what to say to those people. Um, the next is anyone who has liked or commented on any of your posts. That means you guys have already started connecting and you're going to have something to talk about. So definitely, the minute someone likes or comments on your post, shoot them a message and I'll talk in a minute about what you say to them. Um, the next is anyone on, on Instagram who has watched your Insta story. Um, if they've watched your Insta story, chances are they kind of know what you're about. They There was a reason they kept watching it or watched the next one or there's a reason that they hit follow they are interested in you so that gives you the right to reach out and let them know that you're there let them know you want to help them and let them know that they are definitely invited into your group um so those are places to find your people and if you're constantly adding new friends and followers on instagram you're always going to have new people that you're reaching out to. So the next one is, what the heck do you say? Well, there are two theories about what you say. There's two ways to go about it. Some people are really comfortable 
with shooting a message to, message to someone, um, say it's a new follower and you notice that they have the most ab adorable dog. You can shoot them a message and say, hey, so-and-so, um, thanks for the follow. I, I so appreciate the support. Um, I noticed that you have that amazing dog. What kind is it? So you ask them a question that prompts them to respond to you. Every time you message someone, you always, always, always want to end with a question because that gives them a reason to get back to you. If you just say like, oh, let me know, they're probably not going to let you know because you didn't tell them. You didn't ask them a specific question, okay? Um, if you're talking to someone for the first time and they have not liked or commented, then you want to find a common ground, something that you have in common. But if you're talking to someone for the first time who just liked your post about your challenge group or just watched your story about your challenge group, you can reach out to them and say, hey girl, I don't know if you saw on my stories, but I totally have a new group starting next week. Um, you know, we're going to be doing these workouts at home. Is that something that you might want more information about? So you're just kind of throwing it out there. Some people want to do more of the conversation first and build more of that relationship. Whereas other people want to just simply say, hey, you showed an interest in me, so I'm going to send you an invite. And it's not an invite saying, hey, do you think you'd want to buy um, like some shakes from me? That's not what we're talking about, okay? We're just simply throwing out that we run these groups and if they happen to have some health and fitness goals, would they want to join us? Um, and there is a PDF that is attached to this video that has a bunch of examples of how you can message people. Um, you're just simply talking to people. You're talking to them like they're your best friend. Um, you want to sound like you and not like someone else. And you want to lead with heart. You are there to form a connection, a relationship. And if that leads to you helping them with your health and fitness, then that's amazing. But you're not connecting them, connecting with them with the intention of selling them something. That's not going to get you anywhere. Um, you're leading with your heart. The last one I want to cover is how often do we invite? So you want to invite every single day. You want to invite three to five people. And if you want your business to grow even faster, you're going to want to multiply that. Um, we use a term in the Beachbody world called 10x, which means you, 10, you times whatever you're supposed to do daily times 10. So instead of inviting three to five, maybe you're inviting 30 to 50. Um, that's if you really want to blow this business up. That's what your goal should look like. So, but as a new coach, start with three to five, get your feet wet, get over that fear, get good at it, and then start to crank. So hopefully that helps you. Remember the PDF is there. Use that. Like what I remember when I first started coaching, I took all of the sample conversations and ways to invite and I printed them out and I kept them next to the computer as I messaged people and was like, okay, what do I say next? Okay. But what you want to do is you want to ask mostly questions. You want to get to know them. You want to listen more than you give information. And when you give your information, keep it short and sweet and end with a question. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Happy inviting.